Peoria, we start first with the team ranked first in state. Peoria and Notre Dame at their big rival, Peoria Richwood Senior Night at Peoria Richwood. The Knights able to get inside London Somerville with the rebound put back. Later, the Knights get the ball inside to Somerville, the freshman again for a bucket. So Richwood's pretty effective getting the two pointers in the paint, but Peoria and Notre Dame fully aware that those three pointers are worth more. Maya Wardle to Julia Mingus. Mingus had a dozen. Then the Irish apply the pressure. Watch Emmy Wardle's going to come up with the steal right here and watch the Irish work the ball around eventually to Lexi Bear. Bear is going to fake and then take a three pointer of her own. She had 10 points and Peoria and Notre Dame is a winner. 58 to 33. Senior night at Peoria High as well. And after a slow start, they finally got going against Peoria Emanuel. Niesha Rutherford right here with the 10-footer. Later, Rutherford gets all the way to the rim for two right here. Manuel led throughout the first half, but late first half, Peoria High is able to take control. Beautiful highlight here by senior Danielle Ruffin to senior Jakiah Jordan. Nice little pass right there. The assist, the win for Peoria High. To Mackinac now, where state ranked DMAC taking on a very solid A-Town team, but this one's all DMAC. Watch Dahlia DeJesus somehow reach around the defender and score on the beautiful kiss off the glass. Then Kenzie Knowles finds Lexi Cottingham for the baseline blast for DMAC. Then it's going to be Elise Hahn. A lot of points in the paint, a lot of power by DMAC in this game, and a most impressive win. Hahn takes her time and scores. And DMAC a very, very big win. To Glass for a good game between Illini Bluffs and Brimfield this evening. Watch Chloe Eaton right here. She's going to get the ball inside to Addie Clark. Nice delivery, and Clark is ready for the catch and finish. Brimfield's Kelly Vaughn is going to hit one for one, two, three right here. Close game going to the fourth quarter, but the fourth quarter was Lily time. Lily Lakowiak the drive and the bucket right here. Then Chloe Eaton is going to follow suit. She's going to get to the rim for two, and later it's Lakowiak again. She had 16 points and a big win for Alani Bluffs pulling away in the fourth quarter to win that game. Not sure that's the right score, but Alani Bluffs did win the game. Historic night for Peoria Heights. They got their 22nd win tonight as they were winners over Bushnell Prairie City. 22 is a new school record, tying the old record, I guess. Janessa Wallace on the floater, later Wallace to Vanessa Menchaca for three. Congratulations to Peoria Heights. To Middle Illini Boys Basketball now, the Morton Potters at Limestone. The Potters blew out the Rockets earlier this year, but not tonight. Limestone hanging around. The all-around good shot here by Alec Williams. The all around. Good shot by Williams. Litter, Joe Lamberti on the drive, and Limestone's down just three in the third quarter of this game, but the Potters get things going. Cal Boker right here, he's going to get a little blocking from Wes Goodman. Watch Goodman hold off the defender, and yeah, he rolls right behind Goodman for the bucket right there. And then it's going to be uh, Alex McKee working the baseline. He's going to find Boker for another bucket down low for the Potters. Morton uh, splits the defenders, nice. But Morton was led by the Rugards. Trip Rugard to uh, Gus Rugard. Gus popped in 24. The rainbow splashes home, and the Potters are winners. If you're a high school basketball fan, Normal West is the place to be Saturday for the annual Midwest Crossroads Shootout. The event tips off at noon with five terrific games. We have two defending state champs. State-ranked teams and top prospects playing all day and what has become a terrific tradition, kind of a March Madness preview at Normal West. I think seven of the teams are ranked, and it seems like each year that we're, we've been having the shootout, it, it's uh, the, the level of talent that we have has gone up. I think it also provides a good atmosphere uh, that would um, resemble that of a postseason play. You know, once you get into regional championships or sectionals, you have big crowds. Uh, I'm expecting some big crowds uh, on Saturday. The day's final matchup is the marquee matchup. How about Big 12 leader in Class 4A state title contender, Normal Community, taking on Middle Illini leader and defending Class 3A state champion, Metamora. It's going to be fun to stay in town. Metamora is coming over at 7.30 for the game. Normal West has an unbelievable shootout. All the games are going to be great. But we're really excited to play Metamora. Yeah, Coach Greaves is a lot of fun. Um, he's done a great job. and, and um, with Cooper, Cooper over there now from P and D, uh, you know he's he's awesome. He's gonna have a great career at Iowa, and, and they just have a lot of weapons. And the first game is at noon. Should be a good one. Quincy versus East St. Louis. Manuel plays at 2:15. West Washington at 5:45, and Normal Community Metamore at 7:30. I'll see you over there. Big Ten hoops tonight. First place Wisconsin loses in overtime to Nebraska. 20 points for former Bradley Brave and Cornhusker Rink Mast. Jim Dandy time. They're two of the best words in sports.